first line, sometimes it seems that the most important quality an architect can possess is optimism. Without optimism, you can't do architecture because it requires a belief in the future. I wrote the op-ed because at that time when I first began and even in the midst of, of designing the master plan for Ground Zero, uh, there was so much controversy. What people wanted to rip the master plan to pieces. And, and I proposed some very powerful things, which included making uh, the, the center of the site a civic space uh, of a large scale, not a private space. Uh, the memorial should be significant, should have the waterfalls, it should have the footprints, but I also suggested it should go all the way down to bedrock. Where, where people really lost their lives, and that the slurry wall, that huge retaining wall, should be made visible uh, to the public because it is a document of the day and, and an important point of orientation. I also thought that the uh, buildings, and I, I didn't propose one tall building or two tall buildings, but five buildings to stand uh, occupying those 10 million square feet of office space to, to echo in their positioning in the grid as a spiral form at the torch of liberty in Lady Liberty's hand. And that tower number one should be symbolic in its height, 1776. I thought, you know, no tower will ever surpass that height because that's the Declaration of Independence in the skylight, skyline of New York. Somebody said, hey, let's put the tower at the Wall Street. Let's have the station in a different position. Let's uh, have narrow streets let, rather than a wide street. Let's cut the memorial back. Let's make it smaller. Let's not go all the way down to bedrock. Let's use that space for infrastructure. So there were many different ideas that people came up with, uh, which uh, maybe are more prosaic uh, and more easy to achieve. But, but I thought, no, there is a spirit here. The memorial isn't just to be filled in with you know, bus parking underneath. People should have the sense of the verticality and the depth of that event. Uh, so that was really, you know, there were many arguments. And, and believe me, uh, as many uh, arguments as there are New Yorkers. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody knows what is right. But, uh, but I stuck to the master plan for Ground Zero. I think the response uh, to the op-ed was good. I think people started thinking, yes, you know, maybe Mr. Libiskent is right. You need patience. You need time. You need a kind of a resolve. And uh, now when I meet all the partners, there is a, there is a joy in, in the fact that, that the plan is being implemented and people will be so able to enter the memorial, to look and to see really something positive uh, coming out from this uh, really tragic, tragic event.